Isacute family, if you're just joining us, please remember to follow us on social media at Isacute or Isacute TV show on all social media platforms. And today is the first show we're having this year to Makwandalia. So much, so much interviews coming up along, like Mike like saying, to Kona Sabasaba in the building, to uh, Sabasa, Sasabasi that is, to Kona MC Yala. We have someone who I'm holding his book here, but before we get to that, please, I would like this to reach out to the please remember to send in your last shout outs to your family, your friends, and also remember to send in your musical request at DJ underscore talk. Now, right about now, I'm joined by someone with so many titles. He's an inspirational and motivational speaker. He's an author. He's also a youth minister. His name goes by Alan Lawrence. Karibu Okay, thank you. Now, uh, <coughs> before we even begin, <laughs> This book of yours has a lot of quotes, eh? Thank you. Yeah. Now, uh, before we get to the book, I would like us to talk about your journey. Uh, you, you're an inspirational and motivational speaker. Maybe yes. you could tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, thank you. My name is Alan Lawrence, as you've been told. Mostly, uh, this journey I began, uh, I began as a motivational speaker way back, sometimes back. Mm -hmm whereby I use my, my, my examples to motivate other people. Whereby I've gone through a lot in life, like gone through rejection at, the, at a very early age, whereby being neglect, neglected by the society. And uh, we thank God after some time, I ended up taking leadership positions that in the, in the long run have been using it to uplift many lives. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Now, uh what maybe you could tell us what's the inspiration behind every, uh, this skill that you're doing here the inspiration behind is uh, I, I i just want everyone to realize their full potential and and to mass to maximize their potential that can that can lead them to achieve greater heights in life yeah because i do believe when when when, when you have the right the right information mm -hmm. you can go beyond any heights the, there will be no end limit for you because mm. even I do believe in the Bible they say that um, my people perish because of lack of knowledge so it means that you have knowledge you'll, you will go far and in line with that uh, the Bible does say that without without knowledge uh, you can perish it doesn't say without prayer you can perish so if you have the right information you can prosper if you have the right information you can be able to with stand any challenge no matter what mm -hmm. yes and this is why you have a mentorship program called uh, the, the activate, activate experience, experience yes. maybe you could tell us more about the same as well the activate experience uh, we are focused on encouraging equipping and empowering lives whereby so many people out there i i, I use my own example suppose i be I, I got the right information at my early age i could have been somewhere so i take it as a challenge to encourage somebody to to build on When they realize it at an early age, they can be able to, to, to expand to expand their territories and be able to be able to conquer any anything in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now maybe we can, uh, when you walk in our city here in Nairobi and uh, yes. uh, this other major big towns, yes. normally you face that uh, you can see there are many street kids in this uh, in, the, in our society here, and you have this mentorship program, the Active Experience. Uh, is there anything you can do about the same? Yes. Mostly, uh -huh. that's why, as, as I was saying, it is a question of them getting the right, the right information. It's a question of them being aware of who they, they are. Mm -hmm. Because when you realize... Mike Okay, thank yeah. you. When you realize who you are, you won't compromise your standards. Because when that person in the street is being empowered with the right information, they will be in a position to get out of the streets and, and be involved in things that, that will enable them... Will enable them Always to provide them with the right information and help them to make sound decision uh -huh. for them to get out of the streets uh -huh. and be able to do something constructive, something positive for the society. So it's like a moving school, a moving agency. Yes. Maybe you can tell us maybe of some of the platforms that you have been able to accomplish and also meet people and also do the same mentorship programs to them. Like last last year, for the last three months, I've been I've been in Turkana, yeah. and uh, there I've, I've I've indulged myself in so many mentorship programs. Yeah. In uh, be it in. What kind of okay, thank you. Uh -huh. As I was saying, in, in, in I've been in Turkana, yeah, and 
I've I've reached out to to many to many to many foundations over there. Like recently, I was in 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 Lodo prisons, whereby we we had we had a function we had a function with them, and we we literally empowered them and taught uh, talk to them that whenever the skill they are getting from the prison, they can always do. Uh, they can always uh, come come out uh, to the world and do something positive, do something constructive, because they have learned something out there. And also, I've, I've been on, on a number of radios reaching to people, and also with the help of a number of my friends, I've mm -hmm. been reaching to slums in Madare, and uh, the response is always positive. Yeah. Yes. Well, when you ask most of the youths out here, they'll say most of the time they lack... Uh, maybe an, a platform to showcase their talents, their full potential, as, as you're putting it. Yeah. Maybe uh, in this mentorship program, do you have the Activate experience? Yeah. Do you have a, a platform where people can come to, uh, to you, showcase their talents? Is there a way you connect them to the right platforms? Exactly, but, but I'm, 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 a, I'm a firm believer of uh, people should not be looking for a platform. First of all, what you start with what you have. Mm -hmm. In your small capacity, what are you doing? You don't, you don't need to wait for a bigger thing or for a bigger platform so that you can showcase what you have. So you just start where you are. The right people, the right, the right people will always come to you. The right things or the right resources that you need will always come to you. So in line with that, I, I do encourage somebody to, to, to build capacity. Build your own capacity so that whenever you look for a platform, whenever you want a platform, whenever you want us to give you a platform, at least we build on what you, you already have. So it is a question of you, you realizing who you are and, and building on, on, on the capacity of what you have mm -hmm. so that we can come and, and, and uh, sit together and see what we can do together. We can journey together. Okay. Now, as a youth minister of whom you are now, um, yesterday... The Yes. about this uh, school girl who was drunk before they got to school. Now, as a youth minister, what do you have to say about the same? You acknowledge, yes. you, you, you saw it, right? Yes, I saw it. Okay, what do you have to say about the same? Because, no. you see, our youth here, uh -huh. are really, I don't know, maybe in your line of experience, yeah. what can you say about it? Okay, I do believe uh, the best advice you can give somebody is, is you being the real you. And the best advice you can give somebody is not by, by your words is by your action. Because you remember in that clip, this girl was saying, me nate, because, because my mom, anate. Mm. So it, it is a question of, of, of uh, our parents or the parents being, being role models. Role models, it, whatever they do. Remember, your children are watching. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, our parents and, and, and everyone there, you ought to be, to be a role model. Because remember, you can be walking on the streets. You never know who is watching. So you always need to be, to be, to be your best, and don't pretend. Actually, mm -hmm. just be the real you, and uh, and and remember that the, that you are a reflection of the society. There is somebody you are mentoring, because it is most of the people. I do understand that mentorship, 95% of mentorship, is uh, is observation, because you will just observe somebody, and you get something out of that person. So, the society today, everyone in uh, however small capacity you are in, you are an influence. So reflect the best part of you so that somebody can emulate. Yes. This is what we were talking in the morning conversation here with uh, Digitalk about where this, influ this influences whom we call are uh, really taking us. Yeah. Now, uh, we could talk about now, uh, you are the youth minister. Eh? Yeah. Uh, maybe you could tell us about some of the people who you've met, some of the cases that inspired you, that you also helped, and now they're okay out here. One one case, one case uh, is uh, there is a there is a friend of mine we are working with, uh, a journey. And this this guy, because I remember, he approached me, and uh, he said uh, some of his friends had had had. had uh, had recruited him into into drug abuse and uh, and and sexual abuse. So most of the time, uh, he said that uh, he has been watching me. Most of the time, he has been he has just been looking at me, and he said my life has been an inspiration uh, has been inspiring him. So and uh, so far, we are working with him a journey. And as much as we are not we are not there, but at least at least the the way he used to do sometimes back, it is now 
we are now getting you know it is not it is not something instant it's a journey and be ready to to work with somebody have somebody who will work with you that's why i encourage somebody i can i can i cannot be the best in that field but i can connect you to the right person who can be in a position to give you the right information because you find today people they have not hakuna mtu ana advice mm -hmm. that that the dangers the dangers of uh, or the benefits or dangers of doing something they are just they are just being told pombe ni mm -hmm. but they have not been you know somebody wants to to get that that tangible evidence that, that you just give somebody options because you cannot force somebody you just give somebody advice and and walk with the, with them a journey and after all they will just change are there any cases where you tried to reach out to someone and help them and they walked away from you exactly it happened because first of all this thing it it needs to be intentional you cannot force somebody somebody has to purpose as much as you can try but it won't it won't it won't make an impact unless that person is strictly convicted deep down their heart that they are, they are ready for change they are ready to they are ready to 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 to, to be their best to accept it yeah, exactly uh -huh. so it begins with you accepting who you are begin just accepting but most of the time because of the ego or rather thing other things people, somebody cannot accept mm -hmm. so we just sometimes you give up mm -hmm. yes uh, well uh when you see most of these uh young uh youths out here yes. it's so unfortunate some of them have joined they've really uh, advanced in life where they reached to campus uh, levels but once they clear school you find some of them really still don't know what they really want to do in life yes. now what can you tell such of these people like what's the way forward for su such cases you find uh, first of all is uh, you know any decision you make in life it's it, it it counts back to, to to the information you have what do you remember so these people they just need to be to be given the right information and have have a mindset shift because without 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 the positive attitude somebody you can find somebody they are busy in school but truly they are not convicted to be in school they don't see the purpose of them being in school because remember education somebody said education is what you what remains after you finish school mm -hmm. so when when you are in school you are getting information and they say information is power so how powerful you want to be in the society you must get the right information so the purpose of school for me i do define school as a as a pl as a place for you to realize who you are and uh, because there is nothing that is being added while you are in school it is just of you to to grow your horizons or expand your territory expand your thinking so that whenever you get out there you be a different person because school is meant to change you yeah just only to be the who they are and 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 to to have a keen eye on on realizing opportunities for them to grow yeah himself uh lawrence now maybe we could talk about this thing i'm holding here viewers at home if the camera person can can flip this you can see it's a book by lawrence and it's full of quotes uh maybe you could tell us more about the same yes wisdom nuggets uh -huh. uh, issue zero zero one it has been uh, it has been quite a journey it is not something that i just came up with it instantly it has taken time however small it is because i i do believe in in having if you if i can give you the manuscript for that book you'll be shocked mm -hmm. because uh, it takes a lot of research a lot of uh, deep searching where did you get all these quotes my friend <laughs> that's why i'm telling you it, uh, it is a journey uh -huh. and uh yeah because i i do i do i'm, I'm a firm believer and uh, it takes a lot of time reading through the bible and, and and understanding a few things and using my life experience because most of the things there mm -hmm. as much as i'm speaking to the world but i'm speaking to myself yeah so that is why i took it as, as a challenge to just have it on the book who did you really want to target when you making this project or uh, who's it supposed to get to i cannot say of uh, of an age group um, mm -hmm. uh, i just I, I targeted everyone who wants to, to who wants to have the better version of themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Because as much as you can be 90 years, 
but you've not you've not actualized who you are. So this one will just empower you because they do say you cannot get you cannot get back and change the beginning, mm -hmm. but you can you can make sure of your ending. Yeah. So I'm just helping somebody out there who wants to have a better ending for mm -hmm. themselves. So please, guys at home, make make a point to get in touch with uh, Lawrence here and also get a copy of this. It's all about self-realization. Exactly. And where can they get this book, actually? This book, actually, we've, we've just uh, we've not assigned to a specific bookshop, mm -hmm. but I have a team that is uh, distributing it. So definitely, somebody can log on to our social media platform and they can place, place an order for it and it will be dropped. Thank please you. share with us your social media platform and also maybe your phone, uh, phone mobile number. Okay, no problem. Okay, my, my social media platform that is Facebook at Alan Lawrence, Twitter at uh, Alan Lawrence, that is Alan Speaks, then uh, Instagram Alan Speaks, then we have our website uh, www.alanlawrence.co.ke then you can always reach unto us by our office number that is 0710-964393. Okay, Alan, uh, I see you're doing a very wonderful thing here to the youths and also to the well, all society at large. Now maybe we could talk about your future projects if you have any. Uh, so far I was planning something like another, like two books actually, uh, latest by February. I'll be launching The Power of Starting and another one, uh, Wisdom Nuggets uh, Issue 002. That, is, that will be on February. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And also we do, I'm also organizing something in the course of this month, our monthly free motivational talks and we have amazing guests lined up for everyone. And it is absolutely free. You can always come. We normally share everything on our social media platform. Okay. Where, is the, where will the location be? Uh, that is Nairobi 680 Hotel. 680 Hotel. Yes. When did you say again? Nairobi 680 Hotel. When? Mm, we've not decided actually uh -huh. on the date, but uh -huh. it will be at the end at the end of this month. Uh -huh. Yeah. So just stick with us for form of exclusive. We'll let you know. And also remember, if you want to get us a copy of this, you can yes. log into www.alanlawrence.co.ke. From this end, I want to take a short musical break. But when we come back, we still have even my guitar here for exclusive interviews. Don't touch the dial. Listen to the one and only DJ Talk.